Hello again my friends, the general public at large and of course, Chance. Welcome to the final entry in this series about Cyrax's pitiful retirement video. And that means we're at the beginning of Raxoa's message. Must say, going backward certainly got us to the meat of his feeble tail much faster than if we'd started here. Let's see how he opened things up. Yeesh, would it be less gross if he'd been picking his nose or the scabs? Fun fact, Raxo is moving at 1.75 speed here. This, uh, what have you went on for almost a minute? Today was supposed to be a good day. Today on YouTube, I was supposed to celebrate hitting 1,000 subscribers, and I was set to break a record on YouTube. Chance, it wasn't going to be that good of a day. You weren't setting any records. There are accounts that got 1K subs in a few minutes. Two weeks to 1K is no biggie in the scheme of things. Especially when most of the subs are folks who don't want to see you succeed. If YouTube hadn't nuked you, there's a good chance you'd have had a mass unsubscription for gaining over a thousand subscribers within two weeks two weeks but because of these trolls i got shut down all because i fucking spoke my goddamn mind all because i spoke my mind well gosh cyrax maybe it wasn't the message that was the problem so much as all the toxic stuff in it youtube frowns upon when you drop in word f word and thread bombs youtube is going to take action and by F-bomb, I do not mean fuck. Though that word isn't loved either for monetization purposes. Maybe if you'd been a bit more eloquent and a lot less homophobic and racist, you'd still have that channel? Stood up for myself. Spoke out against what these assholes do to me. Spoke out against these fucking assholes. That have been robbing me blind for years. Victimizing me for years. Cyrax, you make yourself a victim. By constantly showing up and acting like there are more than three people actually interested in your garbage, you invite us to troll you. If you stopped showing up, things would chill out after some time. Just a simple fact. I have been being victimized by these people on YouTube for years. And their names are Southern Harlot, Music Biz Marty, William Glory Hall, and N-Word Boy, and all their little friends. Every one of their little friends. Every one of them has been bullying me, harassing me, and attacking me and my family for years. And I stay quiet. But the one time I finally have enough and I fucking stand up for myself, they mass report me. And now because of that, I no longer have a YouTube career. I no longer have a career. I have nothing going for me. I have nothing. I mean, hell, I can't even do music. Fucking music. Because they steal it and they get the copyrights to it, which I don't have money to get my shit copywritten. I have no money to fight back at all. For over 10 plus years, I gave everything to that platform. And yet, they just sit there. They just sit there and they let the trolls walk all over me. They sit there, and they let these fucking trolls bully me. I can't go on cake, I can't go on Twitch, I can't do anything because of these sick, evil, vile, fucking people. I've lost friends because of these people. Friends of mine have lost jobs. Family members have lost jobs. Not sure if these are meant to be dramatic pauses, but they aren't working. You know, I've given 10 plus fucking years to that platform known as YouTube. 
And y'all want to know why I can't go on other platforms? Because these same people that bullied me off of YouTube will follow me to other platforms and bully me off of them as well. These people have committed crimes against my family. Real felony crimes. But yet nothing gets done. These people have stolen my image, my music, everything I've worked so hard to build. They yanked it. And now I got nothing left. I have nothing left because of these people. These people drove me to the edge of suicide twice a couple years ago. But yet, they get to sit there and stay on YouTube. And you know what pisses me off more than anything in the fucking world? They're allowed to attack me all they want. But yet, the very second, the very fucking moment that I fight back, I get hit with strikes on my channel. All because I'm fucking defending myself. I know this is hard for your brain to accept, but it's not a double standard. People like me are just telling you the truth in a blunt way. Believe me, Cyrax, if I wanted to insult you, it would have been extremely easy to do it. There's no need for that, though. The truth by itself is unflattering enough. I wasn't raised to take shit from anyone. I was raised to fight back. And I know what y'all think, oh, it's just a platform. It's just a platform. You can get a real job. No, the fuck, I can't get a real job. I don't have that luxury. You want to know why I don't have that luxury? Because the trolls made it to where I can't. Not true at all. There are plenty of places out there that would hire you for shit work. And I mean that literally. The facts are that there are jobs out there. You've simply limited your choices to places not remotely desirable or working anywhere near kids. You could easily get a job at a landfill or toxic waste dump. Because I know damn well that even if I didn't say a damn word to anyone, they would find where I live, call up there, until I got fucking fired. Why? Because these people want to see me homeless. That's what they want. They want to see me homeless. They want to see me suffer. These people want me homeless so they can point and laugh and go, ha ha ha, you're homeless. And you know what they're going to do after that? They are the day of open- Chance, you are almost completely misunderstanding the trolls. While they would indeed like to see you have a homeless arc, they're simply waiting for Sally to die. Without her to pay the bills, where are you going to live? Anyway, that concludes Chance's plea for pity. Feel free to leave me feedback on the end to beginning approach taken in this series, and thank you for watching. Be safe and live well.